Good afternoon, class. Uh, welcome to my presentation on plan buying. First, I would like to ask if anyone has ever purchased a expensive product and felt as though they paid too much for it. Like a bicycle, laptop, cell phones. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, this has happened to me uh, several times uh, until I learned about the plan, plan buying process. I know it sounds like a gimmick, <laughs> but after this presentation, it won't be so gimmicky. Uh, during my presentation, I will describe the principles of plan buying, uh, which will incorporate the guidelines and rules uh, incorporated uh, when you purchase expensive items. Next, I will explain the three steps in the plan buying process that occur prior to interacting with the sellers. And finally, I will describe um, effective negotiating techniques. Plan um, buying is a process which leads consumers through a formal purchase decision. It's a learned skill. Uh, it takes time and effort. But these principles are effective anytime, especially when you purchase uh, vehicles and expensive products. Uh, there's guidelines, which essentially are the rules when you uh, incorporate the plan buying process. You want to um, control buying on impulse which is purchasing a product when you did not plan to purchase these products at that particular time. Like for example, you walk into the Best Buy, you've already done your pre-research on maybe the rebates, the pricing, uh, so you're walking out the store and you're ready to purchase this, uh, the laptop, but you also buy a sleeve for the laptop, you buy some CDs and you buy some games. So all that plan buying, uh, research, essentially, you're not saving that money, now you just spent all of it. You also want to pay uh, cash as much as possible. I know that's going to be difficult with airline tickets or maybe online purchases or maybe something you want insurance covered with through your credit card, but as much as possible, you want to pay cash. Uh, you want to buy at the right time, which means like clothing seasonal, buy clothing seasonally, or uh, you want to pay attention to sales. Vehicles, you want to pay, uh, buy seasonally as well. Best time to buy a vehicle is probably at the end of the month or the end of the year. At the end of the year, they're trying to get rid of their old stock and bring in the new vehicles or the newest models. Sporting goods, you want to buy um, seasonally as well. And you want to buy at the end of the baseball season or the end of the football season. Also groceries, um, you could buy seasonally. Obviously, fruit that's in season is going to be, you know, the prices are going to be different. And you don't want to pay extra for um, a name brand. I know that's hard for women and we want to, or maybe men buying Nike Jordans or something like that. But you still want to be, um, there are some commodities that you can't, you, sh you are able to buy maybe generic, and generic products are sold under the commodity name, like aspirin instead of Excedrin or laundry detergent, just straight laundry detergent from Safeway, you know, instead of Tide. And prescription drugs, uh, there's a considerable difference. Uh, you want to also recognize the high price of convenience. You want to avoid shopping at 7-Elevens and AMPMs just for, you know, the six pack of beer maybe, or water or gum. And avoid uh, lo uh, using local markets or the neighborhood markets for just milk you know, you want to run in there just for a gallon of milk or butter or bread. So you know the rules. Now these are the steps in uh, the plan buying process. You want to prioritize your wants. Uh, this is to distinguish what are needs and wants in a product. Needs or uh, something that you can't live without. Like say you want to purchase a new cell phone. Uh, it comes with GPS or you know you need that because you travel a lot or something like that um, a want is um, unnecessary but desired sure you would it would be nice to have it say you want the newest newest model of the iPhone maybe that's more of a want you don't just necessarily need everything that's you know in the iPhone you want to rank uh, high priority and low priority ones that helps you consider other benefits and cost options available. You want to conduct pre-shopping research 
which is gathering information about products or services before actually beginning to shop. Uh, you want to go on manufacturers' websites. Uh, you want to see uh, what's available in maybe each product. You want to go to maybe a, a salesperson and ask what or uh, what are other buyers' feedback. You want uh, you can go to service providers and ask which vehicles are main or maintain on a regular basis, which always goes to the shop. You could use family or friends and consumer magazines and social networking. As I think on Facebook, you could put like, or you could go onto the site, you put likes and it could go onto Facebook. So things like that, plans and products. Uh, you want to research pricing. Know the MSRP, which is a manufacturer suggested retail price. That's the sticker price. That's a starting point. Uh, from where you can, where you're going to start pricing items. You want to compare prices over the internet. Sometimes on the internet it's cheaper than going to the actual Warner Brick store. And you want to research the cost of financing. Most purchases, such as vehicles, are bought on credit. So you want to know the APRs and in percentage rates, you want to know interest rates and all types of loans that are offered when buying vehicles or appliances. You want to research rebates, and a rebate is obviously a portion of the product price. Cell phones give good rebates, vehicles, and of course computers. So you've done your homework, now you want to fit this item into your budget. You want to ask yourself, can I afford this new laptop? Uh, consider everything if you're not unable, if you're unable to purchase this product. You don't want to wreck your budget for the next month and start borrowing money to pay rent or pay for groceries. Uh, repossession of a vehicle is another con and then creditors start calling you. Now it's time to window shop. You want a comparison shop. So you can afford this product, it fits into your budget. You want to start, uh, you want to find, wait, the process of comparing products is to find the best buy which you consider to represents all of the qualities you want at the best price. You want to consider at least three alternatives. This is going to take a lot of time and maybe effort, but it narrows your choices. Uh, it makes you aware of the best deals and most options available. Uh, and you could save a lot of money by doing this. You want to consider shipping and handling fees. Gas for extra, the extra drive to maybe the discount store that's 25 miles away. Now, finally, number five, you want to, it's time to shop. So you're going to be shopping. You want to negotiate and decide. Negotiating and haggling is the process of discussing the actual terms of an agreement with a seller. So you should not be paying retail prices for pretty much anything. You have the opportunity to uh, haggle for most expensive items, appliances, furniture, jewelry, and especially vehicles. The key to all negotiations is to be prepared and be able to say no and walk away. Going anywhere else if you're not happy with the terms. Finally, you want to make the decision. The best place to make the final purchase decision is at home without the pressures of sales people. After considering all these options, you can return to the store the next day and purchase a product, uh, product on the agreed price. However, online purchases might have time sensitive uh, sale times or that price. I know airline tickets, they fluctuate and those are time sensitive as well. Okay, you finally made your decision, or you finally made your decision, you bought your product, now you want to evaluate decision. This is uh, important because you want to know where things went well, where things went wrong, and you could use this to another purchase. You want, you can, you, at this time, you want to, You could add to blogs and comment cards. You could do compliments to the seller, to the product, to the manufacturer. You could use social media, um, Facebook. You could do likes and dislikes. And finally, you want to remember the basic things here. You want to remember the basic rules. No impulse buying. Pay, try to pay cash. You want to buy at the right time, and you want to avoid. Uh, purchasing the rents and convenient shopping. You want to do your research 
you want to negotiate smart and decide wisely. Uh, you don't want to be caught short at the end of the month, like I said. 